to, to spend on your new home. We didn't know quite what you would be needing. Probably you don't know yourself either yet. So, about five pounds, it should go quite well. Hero for compiling Outlook for about four years. Yeah. Yeah. He has also instructed me in the mystery of publisher and has been very tolerant uh, when I didn't understand, uh, mainly by ignoring my emails. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what? so, what can you give someone like that as a present? So, there was a lot of thought went into this, and we thought he could have a year's subscription to Outlook. <laughs> what to give to a man who has everything? And this was the problem we had when we were trying to decide what to give you. Can you hear? An urbane, sophisticated well-travelled, <laughs> bon viveur, a distinguished member of the second noblest profession. <laughs> we, had, we had to consult one of the senior members of the choir. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. <laughs> My own pump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A modest ode to Alex. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things. Of shoes and ships and sealing wax, of cabbages and kings. But for Mellor folk, the time has come to talk of something quicker. <laughs> Not shoes and ships and sealing wax, but finding a new vicar. <laughs> The one we've had is leaving us, and we're feeling rather hollow. And because she's really lots of fun, it will be a difficult act to follow. We'll miss her charm, we'll miss her smile, we'll miss her wit, we'll miss her style. The added problem is, of course, she's taking with her Nick. <laughs> Always seemed quite bright, but he seemed pretty slick. <laughs> a vicar's job is full of stress, with many lines to turn. It's the same with running outlook, believe me, Chuck, I know. <laughs> We've been here once or twice before and always come up trumps, helping each new vicar to iron out the bump. We are a very special breed, we folk upon the hill. In spite of life's adversities, we're fit and holy still. So Alex, dear, you will be missed. We wish you all the best. Whatever the future throws at you, we know you'll meet the test. You'll cope with all life's ups and downs. You'll cope through thin and thick. The Lord will help you through all this. But will he come? <laughs> People have been asking what we're doing in our retirement. Um, one of the first things we're hoping to do in February... Excuse me, our retirement? No, my retirement. Nick, Nick, Nick is carry on working to fund my retirement. Um, we're going away to Scotland for a couple of days with the children. Um, we booked it some time ago to mark our th uh, 60th birthdays. And you may have noticed in the news at Christmas that there was a hotel in Scotland where there was an unfortunate fire which has burned most of the hotels down. That's the one. <laughs> what I really would like to say is that I have been so encouraged and heartened and blessed to be here by God and by all of you. It, I feel really fortunate to have had the opportunity to join this wonderful Bella Church family and to work here and I will treasure all the memories. So thank you all very much indeed. Thank you.
seriously, we've had a great time here. It really has been marvellous. The, the people, it, it, it's always the people, isn't it? The, the place doesn't really matter. But the people really does. And we've been so fortunate, not only with all the people who come on Sundays, but, but the, the great kids as well. They come along and do Bellum and Edale and do a St. Thomas in the field as well. That's what a great event that was.
Well, welcome to Mellor this evening for this really wonderful service. As a new chapter in the life of this parish begins, I do hereby collate and admit to you as vicar to the benefice of Mellor. And I invest you with all the rights and duties of the said benefice, and I commit to you the cure of souls of the parishioners thereof. This 16th day of October, in the year of our Lord, 2012, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this night and always. The Lord preserve your going out and your coming in, now and always. Amen. Amen. Underway, the procession was led by Dave Watson, pulling Dave Parr's jazz band and Alex, our vicar, followed by John Hodgson's trusty David Brown tractor, pulling the Rose Queens and their retinues. Well, what acts did the Rose Queen team manage to scrape up this year for Mellor's Got Talent? Here's a flavour of part one which didn't begin with the usual winners of the previous year because they were away working in the Caribbean. But they did graciously agree to appear on a satellite link. I'm really so sorry, we can't be with you this evening. Yes, I'm very sorry too. It's really hard work, as I say, but we are so sorry we can't be. Very, very sorry. Yes, very sorry. We're here on a mission. Uh, we want yes, to... Yes, I'm very sorry too. It's tough, actually, but somebody has to do it. So uh, we'll we'll press on, and we'll see you when we're back in Mellor. Bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Onward, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> 